Hi, everyone. I hope you, are, you will enjoy our third novel in this course. This lecture is intended for the fourth year course for fiction and the novel. Now, when we talk about the third novel, we are actually moving from the old continent to America. So we are talking about the Great Gatsby. We are still with modernity as the novel and the fiction work of the fourth year is all about modernity and the rise of all those new ideas and new world. When we come about a birth of new ideas, we're actually talking also about a kind of something that is happening everywhere in the world. It's not happening only in, in uh, here and I mean here at, uh, across the Atlantic into the new continent. It also happens in Britain, as we have seen in Sons and Lovers. And we, we, we got it uh, modernity as kind of concept, a cultural concept in all over the world. So when we come to, to the idea of uh, what, is, what is going on, we are actually talking about a new world at the end of colonialization, a new map, political map, political speaking, and a new standards of living for the modernity and lifestyles and this is very much uh, very much exhibited through the great gatsby our novel the great gatsby is about the great new age the age of the jazz the the earlier decades of the 20th century it's about people adapting to new lifestyles and a new map political map in which the dollar is getting uh, into the power more than the armies, more than the British armies all over the all over the world, we are going to have the American dollar is dominating the world all over uh, the globe, all over uh, uh, the world earth. Let let us share this. Um, let us share this introduction. What is that age, what is the age? According to Fitzgerald himself, this age is called the age of the, the age of, of the jazz. I mean, why, why it's this kind of music, this kind of music, it comes with lots of, uh, 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 it comes with lots of ideas. I mean, we have the idea that the margins uh, matter like, because most of the jazz musicians are black. So the, the voice for the voiceless, an age of art also, an age of music and art, and an age of satire in which kind of criticism uh, for, uh, for, for whatever is, go is going on. I mean, the materialism of the age, uh, everything. Now, Fitzgerald himself, F. Scott Fitzgerald, uh, with, the, with, the, with a kind of, you know, a kind of a person who, who loved uh, very much his wife. And there was uh, a kind of, there was a kind of um, love story between him and himself. And this kind of love story with extremism, you know, a kind of uh, uh, appulsion and inclusion and uh, the idea of a changing, you know, with, with emotional uh, talking, uh, his, his, uh, his, the idea of a woman as a model, this all comes uh, in, in the life of Fitzgerald. The same with the social status. I mean, he is coming from a very poor uh, social status. His parents were very poor, but he, he, he came, you know, into a different uh, higher status with his work. So while his family was not prosperous, but uh, his his mother was uh, uh, very ambitious, and he, he looked at at his mother. You know, also uh, his aunt helped him with the finance uh, to, to move into New Jersey and then to Princeton University. So at Princeton University, he was uh, he was a kind of you know from the upper class. It, it is a place for the upper uh, Americans. So. He joined the upper class. So when you talk about the novel and how the novel is coming from, you know, the, the different status of the American uh, uh, classes, social classes, we're also talking about Fitzgerald himself. You know, 
to the army and the war, and we have that kind of mentioning stuff into, uh, into our novel. Uh, he went to New York to seek fortune, but then he, he found his, the love of his life, and he got married to Zelda. Uh, we, 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 we come to a point of becoming rich and then uh, uh, facing fundamental uh, problems, all this stuff. Then he has got children. So he was talking about families. You know, uh, there's an only child, a daughter named Frances Scott, Scotty Fitzgerald. She was born in 1921. So we are talking about a person who, who actually uh, having it all, I mean, the period, the just age, the 1920s, kind of mirroring the events that occurring nationally during that decade. I mean, his life ref is reflected on the social life. These 20s, we call it the roaring 20s, and they refer to as the just age, a time of challenges, of personal indulgence, of sometimes, sometimes even a self-destructive excess. Fitzgerald was a self-proclaimed spokesman and symbol of, of that age. So when we come to The Great Gatsby, published in 1925, it is nominated the Great American Novel, the classical Great American Novel about the 20s. And this, the, the, uh, the idea that this novel is like a chronicle. It's a chronicles the exuberance as well as the, the malice of the decade. American fascination with material success is all the enduring values. Um, we have eyes, and these eyes can be the eyes of history, the eyes of America, the eyes of God, the eyes of faith, can be anything. Lots of crit 